back again with game two between Black Oblivion and Empo. Looking at the teams, um, I assume Black Oblivion has a lot of setup sweepers on Aurora Veil. I don't think he has any choice guard uses. If this is Mega, this could be um, a lead Aerodactyl with Rocks and Taunt. And then I assume this is SD. This could be uh, this Double Dance, or like not Double Dance, but Shift Key for sure. Um, this is also potential SD Rock Polish type of thing. Um, but it might also just be an off plate variant. Um, items. Um, Z move either on this or this. Uh, then this could be Yachi Berry. If this is Z move, this could also be, instead of Z move, this could also be Sugar Berry. Um, there's probably Light Clay, there's probably Sash, and this is Mega. And looking at Empo's team, uh, either Z move Mimikyu or Z move Majorna, probably Mega Gyarados. Um, he likes that one a lot. And potential Scarf Lily. Not sure if the Lando is going to be defensive on this team. But yeah, we see a uh, Lander's lead versus Aerodactyl lead. So he, Empo might predict him to go for a taunt here and go for a U-turn. Um, because um, Black Goblin obviously doesn't want rocks on his side because he has no highlight removal. So it's understandable that he goes for a taunt. Empo predicts that and goes into Lele. This doesn't necessarily have to be Scarf. Uh, Lele can take a hit from this, I'm pretty sure, especially with the Intimidate. So we don't know confirmed if this is Scarf, but he's going to be scared out. Empo's going to want to keep this um, for to get up rocks later in the game. And he's probably gonna go into his Majorna here because Katana has piss worse piss death and would get blown away by Psychic and otherwise he doesn't have a good switch in. Um, so yeah, Majorna's gonna come out here, take like 30-ish from a Psychic move. And... Empo doesn't have the best answers for that one. Yeah, Empo's quite weak to Majorna, especially if his Majorna is not Assault Vest. Yeah, if his Majorna is a solve, he's, he's gonna be fine, but we shall see. Because, like, what is he. How is he gonna, like, beat the Majorna otherwise? Like, Mega Gera can probably take a T Ball, but I don't think it can kill it. So, there's the Majorna, takes. Um, that could potentially be Scarf, but we don't know it confirmed. Like, it might also be, like, uh, um, like Twisted Spoon or something, and it might be a lower roll. He goes hard on the Greninja, there's a shift gear, and T-Bolt should blow this away, but he has Charge Beam instead of T-Bolt, so it doesn't kill, but he gets a special attack boost. I think the reason why he has Charge Beam, HP Fire is a good chunk, so he's probably, I assume he's Expert Build or something like that. Maybe he was Sash or Expert Build, not sure. But the Charge Beam 2, it kills the Greninja. I think the reason why he has Charge Beam instead of T-Bolt is, this is probably Z-Move Mimikyu, that's the main reason why he's gonna bring it out to do go for the never-ending nightmare here. But um, he's probably... Charge Beam over T-Bolt, so he can run Charge Beam, Ice Beam, and instead of Calm Mind, he can have like Flash Can or like Flur Can. He can have another coverage move, depending on what his team needs, because Charge Beam already raises the special attack. Soul Heart also raises the special attack. Shadows need kills from this range, so Black Oblivion can switch out here, preserve this as a Death Forder. Um, what should we call it? It's crazy how this one is already at plus four from two Charge Beams on two Soul Heart boosts. And I, I was no, no, it was only one Soul Heart boost. It was three Charge Beam boosts. He got another charge beam boost to break the disguise, but yeah, Empo is definitely gonna go for Shadow Sneak. And I think Aerodactyl should be able to take two Shadow Sneaks and uh, get up the rocks here. I'm not sure what Empo's Lando is, it was slower than Aerodactyl. So maybe the Lily was Scarf. So he gets up rocks, there's the SD, Shadow Sneak picks off the arrow. He's gonna be forced to go to Kartana here and go for a Smart Strike. And if that is a defensive land, the Empo can go into a Landris on the Kartana and then go for a U-turn. At this point, it was Aya Papa Berry, right? It was Aya Papi, Aya Papa Charge Beam. That's a wild set. Um, so that makes me think that it's most likely a Z move Kartana for sure. Mm -hmm. So he's just gonna smart strike here. And Empo should go into his Lando. So he goes for a smart strike and it does absolutely nothing. So that makes me think that he's timid Kartana. And we do see the Landorus is faster than the Katana, which is really confusing to me. The Landorus was slower than the Aerodactyl. Uh, max speed or like even Adamant max speed Landorus, if it's Scarf, was, it would be faster than Aerodactyl, but it was uh, slower than Aerodactyl. But he's faster than the Katana, which is probably timid because the smart strike did no damage. So this has to be like defensive Scarf Landorus, which is super weird. Um, I don't think he can kill this unless he's like Z Bloom Doom. Um, because this is really, this is timid, 
weak as fuck katana and this is like some sort of bulky scarf lander which is super weird to me but yeah, he's gonna go for a z move here i don't think it's gonna kill maybe bloom doom has a chance to kill but if he's the the z knight slash or the z second sword then he obviously i mean if he's z second sword he's not gonna go for it but if he's z knight slash he can go for it here um it's probably gonna do like 50 ish and yeah earthquake is a probably a role to kill this Oh yeah, it's a roll. I feel like I'm, I got super confused right there. Like I thought, even though I said that he's defensive, like even though I said he's defensive, Scarf Lando and he outspeeds it, and he's still bulky. Uh, I, I I said he can just go for Z move here as if he outspeeds, because that just cannot go into my mind. Like I just don't get it in my head. Scarf defensive Lando, um, so he does not get the roll in the katana. Uh, Black Ovil knows he's locked into Earthquake. Goes into Gyarados. Um, I assume Ampo is gonna go hard into Majorna here. And threaten the Gyarados with a T-Bolt. Slash Fleur Cannon. Um, but that was so fucking confusing. <laughs> like, Scarf Defensive Land or Speeding Cartana being slower than Aerodactyl. I've, I've seen Eel use that in World Cup. I think it was with enough speed for Mega Pinsir. But I'm really not sure what the exact spread is. Like, I have a team with that spread, but I just don't remember it. I haven't really looked at it in a while. See, Dragon Dance is up. I don't think he can kill the Majorna. Maybe if he has Earthquake, but I doubt it. Especially if the Majorna has HP investment. Um, we don't, I don't think we have any information about this Majorna yet. So, Megalovian might go for Earthquake or Waterfall Flinch, or he might uh, switch and sack off his own Majorna. I think his own Majorna was at 18%, something like that. So what he could do is, um, is sack off his own Majorna and then go into Ninetales to get up his screen. Okay, okay, okay. Or he can stay in. He goes for a sub. Um, so I think he predicted the Fleur Cannon there. He definitely predicted the Fleur Cannon. He wanted to load a special attack. Or he just wanted to scout out the Majorna set. Um, T-Bolt. He also maybe predicted the Volt Switch. Volt Switch or Fleur Cannon, which would be on AV. But T-Bolt shows up that it is most likely not AV. This is, uh... Maybe Shookerberry. Something like that. The Z-Move was already a Mimikyu. So yeah, now that he subbed, uh, now that he subbed up, I don't even know if he can take a T-Build. Maybe Mega can still take a T-Build because Mega Gyarados has great speed Um He can potentially also... If he's Yachi, he can potentially go into Landorus um, because on the T-Build, yeah, I can see him trying to go into Landers. Even if he's not Yachi, he might go into Landers. And now, if he's... Oh, he shift gears up. Okay, okay. So, if he's um, if he's Yachi, he can take it. If he's not Yachi, I thought he would have switched into his... Um, what the fuck is going on? He gets crit and it doesn't... It doesn't even kill with a crit through Sugarberry. Majorna's busted as shit. Um, so, the Ninetales is obviously because the Ninetales would kill the Majorna with Hail. So, Ampo might predict the Ninetales to come out here. Um, not sure if he has a move to hit the Ninetales. He already revealed that he's Bolt Beam. If he's Command, he doesn't ha have a move to hit the Ninetales hard. So I'm pretty sure Black Elvin is gonna go to Ninetales because he doesn't know if the Majorna has a hit to hit, have a move has a move to hit the Ninetales. But yeah, what I was trying to say earlier is, if this was not Yachi Berry, Black Elvin could still could have used this as a pivot to go onto this on the um, on the predicted Ice Beam, and then pivot it into Ninetales. To get Ninetales in on a move like Ice Beam, that is not T-Bolt. But yeah, they're playing kind of fast and it's a, it's a bit wild and confusing. Um, double double Resist Berry, Yachi versus, versus Shuka Berry. And the defensive Lando on Ampo's side with Scarf just threw me off a lot. I don't think the Smog just chat talked about it at all. Uh, like I was super thrown off by that. Not sure if anyone realized that in the chat. Like, he has to be Scarf. He was faster than Katana, right? But he was slower than Arrow. And the Katana is timid because he did, like, no damage. It's pretty obvious. So he's gonna definitely go into Ninetales. It just comes down to if Empo has a move, like, f to hit this, like, Flash can, right? If he has a move to hit it, then he can go for it and predict that. As he does predict it, so Empo is the god. Um, yeah, Empo won the first game, so if he wins this. Now he dies to Hail, but he takes the kill on the Ninetales. That means no screens for Black Oblivion. I assume he's gonna go to his Landorus here because it's defensive Scarf, the god said. He's gonna U-turn here because he doesn't lose anything. Ampo, uh, Black Oliven either has to sack this and if Black Oliven switches, uh, Ampo gets um, switch advantage. 
with the U-turn. Uh, so I'm pretty sure he's just gonna sack this. Timid Katana is not gonna do anything. It's weak as piss. And it also dies to Hail. Um, I mean, some games Timid Katana can put in the work. He goes for Scarf Rocks. Okay, okay, he goes for Scarf Rocks. Um, I can respect that play because Katana dies to Hail. Katana dies to Hail and you get up your rocks, so I can respect that play. Um, I don't think Shadow Sneak kills that minus one. It does, okay. I thought ma Mimikyu is weak at Trash, but I guess maybe it's Element. So he's gonna go Gyarados, and Mimikyu is at minus two, so he's gonna drag Nance up here. But he's gonna go... Okay, he goes Lele. I thought he would go into his own uh, Gyarados to get off the Intimidate. Black Oblivion doesn't even try to drag Nance up, so maybe he, he assumed that the Lele was Scarf as well. I'm not 100% sure. If the Lele is Scarf, I don't think it was revealed yet. Um, Lele naturally outspeeds Gyarados, so he can just click Moonblast and clean the game from here. And yeah, the game is over. Ampo wins this series 2-0. and oh. Um really thrown off by some things that happened in this game, but yeah. Like we don't I don't think we know confirmed if this is Scarf because it came in earlier on the Aerodactyl and then Black Oblivion switched out. And now the Gyarados didn't drag Nans up, so we didn't get to see if the Lele would have outsped the Gyarados. Since he waterfalled hard. Um, I assume he predicted the Lele to come out and he tried to crit the Lele or something like that. So I assume Black Oblivion predicted the Lele to be Scarf. Maybe I'm missing something here. Um, but yeah, it was definitely a wild game. Um, so um, congrats to Ampo. He wins the series 2-0. and oh. He is um, still an ulti. He's in round 6 loses bracket. And yeah, it's sad, but Black Oblivion is out. Yeah, I was also kind of supporting Black Oblivion in this. Um, but yeah, I have another series for you guys coming um, probably the next days for OT and yeah a lot of snacks is gonna be coming stay tuned for that and yeah if I did anything wrong here this game was really confusing if I said anything wrong um, feel free to correct me in the comments I'm always open for uh, constructive criticism I uh, hope you guys all enjoyed this refreshing offense series and goodbye